no. Nai! Nai! Oh, where is she? I had to do it! If I hadn't faked my own breath, death, he might have turned me into the king! He killed his own daughter. What's stopping him from killing me? The only thing that matters now is my safety, so if I hurt Sade, I'm sorry, but it's more important that I not be hurt. I'm the last one of my kind. It's my job to be safe, right? I mean, even normal men are almost obsolete. With all the offspring of the life tank floating around, it's hard to find a normal human being, much less a girl. I'll stay on the run. It's my only option. I can't believe I lost her. I couldn't save my daughter, now I couldn't save Nai. I mean, I know I'm no hero, but shouldn't I at least be able to man up a little bit and protect the people I care about? I'll at least bury her. That's the right thing to do. Her body, it's nowhere to be found. Those half-breeds may have killed someone, but why take the body? They're programmed not to be able to lie anyway, so if, if they tell the king that she's dead, then she's dead. But if they didn't take her body, then who did? I've, I've got to find it. Oh, lovely. These mutts. Not excited to see us, eh? Not at all. That's too bad. Come on, you know the routine. So where are we doing this? The new offices, I hope. The chairs are so much more comfy. I guess you're in luck. We will be going to the more recently constructed facility. Great. So what did I do this time? So glad you asked. We have been searching for the girl, and we have found that she was just here. Which means that you were probably with her. Which means you probably know where she is now. Why don't you wake up and smell the coffee, you garfalogles? You killed her already! That statement is invalid. <laughs> and that language is illegal. <laughs> invalid? So, sh she's not dead. Are you celebrating the life of an outlaw? That is illegal. Now, but the hooga beluga is legal these days. Watch your mouth. Let's start this over, okay? Where is the girl? Alive? Yes, but where? I sure as careful I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Look guys, I'd love to stay and chat, but I really have to go. So, uh, I'll see you the next time I rebel. Bye. <laughs> Was he a little more happy than normal today? I don't know. I don't like the company of that man. <laughs> He's so illegal. Sleep, don't you? You shouldn't sleep too hard anyway. You never know. The people you thought were next to you could run off. Why did you find me? I told you I was going to keep you alive no matter what. How can I do that if I don't know where you are? Look, I'm not your offspring, okay? I'm not your precious little daughter. Keeping me alive doesn't change the fact that you're a murderer. I know that! Go to sleep, Zave. I'll be here when you wake up. Good night, Zave. Good night, Zave. Sleep well. Dream of a brighter future. We never found that girl, but no matter. We don't need to worry ourselves with things like one little girl. We have the whole world against her. 
as long as she is the only one, it does not concern me that she has made herself difficult to catch her. After a year, we stopped looking for her. We never saw the outlaw Zave again, either. We know they must be together, but we don't know where. Who needs to get themselves upset over one female? Nye and I stayed on the run for about a year. At last, we found that the king had stopped looking for us. Then all we needed was a place to settle permanently. After a while, we found a place, and we ended up making quite the discovery there. It was a miracle. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it. One day, Zave and I were walking through the desert. All of a sudden, we saw a shape in the distance. As it got closer, it was clear that it was a person. It must have noticed us too because it froze. We froze too. I hid behind Zave, not wanting the person to notice that I was female. But then, I noticed that this strange desert wanderer was holding something. In his arms, he held a precious little bundle. A baby. A human baby. Baby girl. <laughs> 